Hi, I'm Rajini Laraca, and I'm the author of I'll Go and Come Back, beautifully illustrated by Sarah Palacios, and I'm so thrilled to have it published with Candlewick. I was born in India and came to the U.S. as a baby, um, so basically was, you know, raised as an American, uh, and every few years, my family and I would go back to India to visit our extended relatives, and um I have to say that I loved those trips, but I sometimes felt a little bit out of place, confused, because India really was very different from the U.S. at that time. And in addition to my wonderful cousins who always, you know, hung out with me, played with me, made me feel wonderful, my grandmother, my mom's mom, my pati, as we say in Tamil, uh, really helped me feel at home. Uh, now, when it came to uh, writing this book, the idea for this book came to me as kind of a visual metaphor. I thought of a sari, and every sari has a border, and sometimes there's a pattern and color from the border that is reflected in the sari, and there is a pattern and color in the sari that is reflected in the border. And so I thought of that image and I sketched it, even though I'm not an artist at all. And I thought of a story that was kind of a mirror story about a little girl who goes to India to visit her family and feels a little bit out of place and lost. And then her pati helps her out uh, by playing games with her and cooking with her and eating with her like my pati did. And then that the grandmother comes to visit the girl in the US and feels a little bit lost and out of place and the girl helps her feel at home. And when I wrote my first draft of this story, um, I thought about you know, what I was trying to say and the phrase, I'll go and come back, which is how in Tamil and Kannada and other Indian languages, you say goodbye. Um, you don't say goodbye, you don't say farewell, you'll say, I'll go and come back. Um, because there's the promise of uh, seeing the person again. And so I thought about that phrase and I was like, I think that's it. I think that's what this story is about. It's about the promise that this little girl and her grandmother make to each other um, about always being connected, uh, no matter how far apart they really are. So this is really a book of my heart. I put some things that were actually true things about my grandmother into this story, um, about kind of going to the market with her, um, picking out things to eat. Okra is one of my favorites. Um, about how uh, the day that I discovered that my grandmother actually sometimes cheated at games, um, <laughs> like the Palanguri game that I mentioned in the story, um, she would sometimes miscount. And it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I caught her and I was sitting there going, wait a minute, did she actually just cheat? And I looked over at my cousin and he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> she really did care about winning. And uh, she'd been through a lot of really difficult times in her life. So this was her little way of kind of evening the odds out. And I just thought it was hilarious. Um, so I'm just delighted that uh, this book is gonna be part of uh, Candlewick's um, books for this year. And I can't uh, wait to see it out in the world. And I really um, appreciate uh, your publishing it in such a beautiful way. And um, I just hope that this story resonates with you, because it is definitely a book of my heart. Thank you very much. Have a great day.